minutes in case you need extra. Um, hey, we're talking about Mad Hungry, and Mad Hungry is a brand that is brought to us by our buddy Lucinda Scala Quinn. She did not invent the spurtle. The spurtle is a 16th century Scottish tool that was originally fashioned in wood and designed to stir oatmeal. But over time, Lucinda has taken the spurtle craze and turned it into something very special by bringing us lots of different size spurtles and spurtles made of different materials. This particular uh, spurtle has a nylon core on the inside, making it rigid. But it's been encased in silicone. So that means it can go into a hot pan. It can go into a hot casserole dish. It can go into my dishwasher with no worry and no concern. Silicone is a very heat resistant material and a perfect choice to surround that nylon inner core that makes it rigid and the silicone makes it super durable. I need to let you know that over 900 sets have already been ordered just from our earlier mentions. I should also let you know that this price goes away end of day today. Now, let's start right here with what's going to be the most popular choice. Already most popular, this is multi. And in the multi, you're getting two large, well, and no matter what color grouping you order, you'll get two large, two medium, two small. But in this grouping, you're getting every single color, the aqua, the black, the gray, the red, the blue, and the orange, okay? This is multi, most popular. Then I have that same configuration in red. Then I have it in gray, then cobalt blue, then the black, and the aqua. The only color that's in our multi that you can't then buy in a multi set, in a, in a, in a set by itself, is that orange. So if you want an orange spurtle, the only way you're going to get it is in this multi set. We've now taken orders for 1,200 sets. Whether you're scooping, stirring, scraping, um, Ooh, let's invite Lucinda Scala Quinn in and she'll help me with the rest of my S's. Lucinda Scala Quinn joining us live via Skype, my darling friend, how are you? <laughs> I'm wonderful, David, how are you? It's a spurtle myrtle, I'm glad we're on the myrtle train today. We are indeed, so we're scooping, stirring, scraping, spreading, spreading. That's serving. Serving, that's five, I think that's enough five. for now. <laughs> For now, we could we could do a million of them, but you know I'm so happy and delighted to have the latest Spurtle family, the Mad Hungry Spurtle family, here on our wonderful in the kitchen with David. It's worth to remind everybody what you said, David, that in 2013 we brought the original Spurtle to QVC, the Mad Hungry Spurtle. It was in wood based on that 16th century tool from Scotland that I used on my television show, and everybody wrote in and said. What is that elongated wooden spoon thing you're using? Our customers then asked us to have silicone, which we brought. We added to our silicone set this original skinny, and the skinny was a runaway success. So then we made the family. And the family, the newest Mad Hungry Spurtle family, has become the poster children 2021. And you pointed out, David, that it's very hard on the inside because it has a nylon core. But it's really worth mentioning that it's covered in silicone, so the edges are kind of like a squeegee. So whatever you do, you're squeegeeing, and as you can see, it tips up here. So when you want to get something out of a jar, you can get something out of a jar. I like to think of it basically, David, as the better spreader. So you take something as simple as butter and bread. I mean, how many times a day do you do something like this? You just butter your bread, or your toast, or you put some butter on your, you know, cooking broccoli or whatever you're doing, cream cheese schmear. I mean, that's what we had for breakfast this morning. Ah, oh, yum. And when you do that cream cheese smear, David, you can take your capers, because I like to put salmon, but you have your capers, right? You have this tiny little jar. How many things come in these tiny little neck jars? But with the spurtle and the tip on the end, you can pull your capers out like this and they just, they catch on the end, and then I can take that and just put it right on my bagel schmear. You beat me to the bagel schmear, my friend. Oh, um, you look know, that's what our, else I did here. I also did a little icing schmear on my Jimmy the Baker cinnamon roll. Well, that's what I'm talking about. You spread, you do everything, but today you caught me right in the middle of my Super Bowl 
uh, presentation for my family. And I am getting everything ready. And it occurred to me, David, that I'm using a convenience dip, like so many of us do, and putting it into the bowl. But nothing is better than our spurtle to get every last little nook and cranny out. Look at that. If you can see, I've got everything out. And then the other beautiful thing is it's self-cleaning. So you go like this and it's completely clean wow. as opposed to a spoon, for example, that as you know, will you know, just catch a little bit of it. And the other thing is you can then take that spurtle and just leave it and it can be your little spreader. So we can take our dip and just spread onto our cracker here. That's one of my things that I'm doing for the Super Bowl. But David, so you said, we said spreading, we, shot, we showed scooping. I am making pigs in a blanket, but I'm making pigs in a blanket for a lot of people. So I have here a um, piece of puff pastry, right? And I like to put mustard down before I put my pigs on the blanket. So I've got the big long spreader here and you can just take that and spread all the way around. You pointed out this when I during the holidays when I was doing all of my baking. Look at how beautifully that spread. I mean, honestly, it's one of those things that when you get a spurtle in your house, even if you don't understand what I'm talking about, you end up saying, ah, I get it, I get it. So that's a spreading. Now, if I should I just keep going? Because you know I'm so enthusiastic about this, David, I can't even stop. Well, Speaking me, of hot dogs. Well, and let me, while you were getting ready for all of that, let me just go through colors again because we're very, very busy. In fact, 3,600 sets are, of these are now gone. Everybody is loving the great easy pay on this. Please don't miss out on this, but I will tell you the price does expire at end of day today. So get these while the getting is good. The first and most popular set is multi. You get two of the large, two of the medium, two of the small in the multi colors. Then the same configuration in all red. Second most popular. Then I've got it for you in all gray. Don't forget our blue. Are we calling that blue or cobalt? Cobalt blue. Then the black. 2,800 left in the black. And then finally I have it for you in the aqua. 2,100 sets available in the aqua. 4,000 now ordered in this show. I have spread cream cheese icing on cinnamon rolls, a smear of cream cheese on a bagel. I mixed up some tuna salad. I can reach in and get the last little bit of chocolate hazelnut spread out of the bottom of this container, thanks to the little guy. And you mentioned hot dogs, Lucinda. Check this. Well, I did. I mean, so many of us are buying our condiments in these plastic containers that have these tiny little lids. Um, and in fact, they're great for when you're squirting out, but when you get to the bottom and you have a little bit left at the bottom, like I like, like my mommy, I like relish on my hot dog. So this big, long fertile, as you can see, goes right down in there and it goes into that tiny, tiny hole, which is so hard to get in. And then I can get that last tablespoon of relish and put it onto my hot dog. Same now, thing with the mustard. I. Now ahead, I'm a big friend. fan. I'm a big fan of relish myself. However, I like the dill pickle relish, not the sweet relish. Ooh. So, that but you're right. Same idea. Dill pickle relish comes in that squeeze bottle, and then when you get down to the bottom, you're you're smacking it on your hand trying to get the last little bit exactly. out. Exactly. Right? But the very tip of our spurtle gets into those jars. Same thing with a ketchup jar. Same thing with a mustard jar. It is so very handy. I'm going to take one second and go out of the kitchen, David, because our Mary. Hit me off to this, and now I do it all the time. Which is, I you get you get a, a set, and you know, of course, I have my own spurtle holder. But I take one and I put it into the bathroom, because I keep it where I have my expensive cold cream and eye cream, because I can go in there and get to the very, very bottom of what's there. And you know, sometimes you'll get two or three more applications from this expensive eye cream or cold cream, and that's not anything to you know. To, to laugh at when you get to save because I'm a frugal fanny. I can't help it. I always have been. And I was reading our wonderful reviews from our customers who I thank you so much. And so many people mentioned that they're using it for their cat food and their dog food and their pet food because they can get right in. Let's see. I think it's this one was said the original skinny and get it all out in one turn and they're not wasting. And it's, you know, again, it's like a squeegee on the edges. Exactly. Now, I do want to remind you that 6,000 sets have now been ordered. You will get two large, two medium, two small. This color grouping is called multi, most popular. This grouping is the red, second most popular. Then I've got it in gray. 
And then we have it in cobalt blue. Don't forget black. And finally, aqua on the end. And Lucinda Scala Quinn, Angel, always good to see you. Please follow her on Instagram. Her handle is at Mad Hungry and watch her cooking Insta stories. They're better than food TV. So that is going to be my uh, uh, encouragement to all of you. Miss Lucinda, our very best to you and your family. Enjoy the big game later. Thank you, my darling. I'm getting ready to cook, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Hey, you too, sweetie. Be well and be safe. Bye-bye. All right. We're going to take a short break.